Hi there, so in this video we're going to look at how to customize the colors that you use for Tailwind CSS and also look at some of the gradients. So one thing I didn't realize is that basically they've got these defaults here, so uh, gray, pink, indigo, um, and basically green has been selected as colors.emerald, so the default for green is colors.emerald. But really, um, they've got all these other colors down here that you can choose from, and if you want you can use all of them. So let me show you how you would add all of these colors in. So um, if we come up here, we can see we can just import the colors right here in the tailwind.config.js right here. And if we wanted to use all the colors, we would come here and say colors is colors. Okay, so basically this is doing this right here, but for all these colors here. So you've got two choices. Basically, you can use all these colors. You can just add all of them and use them in your project, or you can select basically which yellow you want to be yellow, which green for green, which blue you're going to use for blue, etc. So then the default, um, they're choosing red is for red. That makes sense. They're choosing amber for yellow and emerald for green, blue for blue. But if you wanted, you could choose like rather than emerald, you could just choose their lime, or you could just choose their normal green, or you could choose teal, etc. So you can do either one. Um, I'm just going to use all the colors right now, and you'll see if I come to layout, and let's say I just put a background class equals BG, I can use teal, for example, uh, teal 400, uh, and let me just do height, or, uh, height screen. Okay, and then let me open this up. npm run dev. Uh, and by the way, I'm using a just normal Svelte kit, so I just init, and then I change directory in, then I added with uh, Svelte add, and that's how I set up the project. Okay, so you see I have this teal color here. But if I hadn't put in these colors right here, if I remove them, then you'll see it's just uh, well, okay, I'd have to restart the server, then it's just nothing. Okay, um, there's no teal. Okay, so, but here we can use all those colors. And we also have something like fuchsia if we wanted. I didn't know about this one either. Fuchsia, I don't know how to spell that, is that right? I gotta reset the server again. Yep, and we got a fuchsia. Okay, so you could set this fuchsia to be pink if you wanted, or you can just import all the colors and use each of them individually. Okay, another thing you can do is come here and make your own colors with some of these right here. So Tailwind, uh, Tailwind Ink, for example, Tailwind.ink, you can come and choose a brand color. So let's say we want to do like uh, this green for our brand color, and then it creates using AI or something, it creates all of these colors for us. So we can, basically we can make our own custom colors and this is what uh, this does for us. So here you can see, you can copy and paste all of these into, so you can have a brand color, and you can copy paste all of these into your config if you wanted to. Um, or you can, write, you can write your own as well. So colors, so if we wanted we could have dot 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 colors and then We'll override with our, the zone that we got from um, Tailwind.ink. Okay, and now we can use these like um, olive chocolate. So um, let's say BG chocolate. I don't know if you'll get, oh yeah, there we go. Cool, and now you have chocolate and what else did they have? They had something like olive, that looks kind of similar. Sunset, cerise, let's see how cerise looks, all these things. Okay, so you can put in lots of different colors, whatever you want into here. You could do it manually if you wanted to set all these, or you can, um, yeah, you can add the custom colors that they, or all these colors that Tailwind comes with. You can create your own, add those in with um, something like Tailwind, Tailwind.ink, um, or you can use this here. I don't know how to use it, but it's another option. I'll leave these links in the description. And then finally, let's look at some gradients, because these are pretty cool in Tailwind CSS as well. So let's, here we can search here, gradient color stops. Uh, so, um, so yeah, here we can do, you have to add BG gradient dash two and then the direction. So left to right, so two R is to right, but you can also do like 
uh, they don't have an example here, but you can do like, um, where is it? Yeah, here. So basically you can do from to bottom right or to top left or whatever. So this is like um, a gradient picker. You can create it with this. You can choose the color. So first maybe I want this indigo color and then I want, I don't know, uh, this red color. And then we're gonna end on just a black color like that. And then, okay, it doesn't look great, but you know, that's what it would do. And you can choose the direction. So it's BG gradient, the direction, and then from what, and you can leave out this part if you want via, but basically this will be the first color and then it'll via this color, it'll go to that color and then end on this one here. So you can use this to create your own. You can look at hypercolor.dev, choose one of theirs. And again, they have, you can choose direction, top left and bo bottom left, all that. And then you can copy the CSS. So let's say, let's choose this one here, I like this. So maybe I want it to go to top right and then tailwind, copy, and here in my layout, I can use, um, I can paste that in here, bam. And I assume it's using the default tailwind colors. Uh, where is it? Yeah, so now I got a cool gradient in the background. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. You can, so if you've added your own colors, you can use those in here too, but they're probably not gonna be, your own colors aren't gonna be included in these uh, sort of, uh, I think these are just using the default colors. But yep, those are your options for color in Tailwind CSS. There's, you know, this criticism with any CSS framework that it makes it so all websites start looking the same. So you can avoid that a little bit if you add in your own colors, uh, like I showed you here. Okay, have a wonderful day, and goodbye.